What's going on YouTubers? Welcome to GFX Capture. In today's video, I'm going to show you another template from Envato Elements that you can edit and customize for your own projects. Before we start, if you are new to the channel, I have a playlist of Envato Elements templates where I have edited and customized them and you can have a look at them in detail where I've given you step-by-step -step instructions on how to edit, download, edit and customize um, these templates from Envato Elements. And also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe so that you get notification for these kind of videos as soon as I upload them in the future. So without further ado, let's give it a go. The template I'm using is from, as I said, Envato Elements and it is called the Urban Fashion Opener. Okay, I will leave the link in the description below if you want to go and check out and download this particular opener yourself. So let's give it a go. Once you download it, unzip the file and open After Effects. Download the project in After Effects and then you will have different compositions like final comps, edit comps, others, etc, etc. What I always do, as you, you may have seen in my previous videos, I always create a new folder here so that I can download any media that I have and that I want to use in this um, project. So I will call it media and then I will download all my videos and pictures before I start the project so that I have everything here and I don't need to go backwards and forwards. And this way is your project is just a bit more organized and a bit more clean and tidy. So as you can see here, you have the final comp already open. Uh, you can go to the edit comps as well here and you have all the scenes that um, you can see over here. Scene one, scene two, three, four, five, all the way up to screen scene nine. Okay, so the first thing is I wanna select my uh, scene one and I would like to edit. Just before you start, you also see these uh, these shy layers as well. So I call it the shy guy, um, you know, but this is called where you want to hide um, any of the layers just so that you can keep your project uh, nice and clean and tidy. So click on the, the shy button. So if you press on this, it will show you all the hidden items as well. So I'm not gonna have a look at this just yet. Um, I'm sure we will get to it, but I just want to have a quick look at what's in the, the scene one, for example. Okay, it will also give you an idea of how much work you need to do on this project. So let's have a look. I will go to scene one. Again, you have the, the shy button here. So if you untick it, if you or if you press it, um, you will see all these other um, layers as well, items in this um, subcom, uh, which is scene one. And then you can start basically editing them. So for example, if I want to change this, your media here, for example, I will go simply to this here and I can either change or bring some more text to it. So I can just go here. So what I will do is that I will just hide this. So you can go back once you've done something, once you take a step, you can actually go back to the main composition um, in here and you can see what the effect of that has been on, on this uh, composition. So I can go back over there and I can either change this or I can just leave it, for example. Uh, of course I want to change it so what I will do is that once earlier on when I brought some additional media files like videos or pictures um, I'm just going to use just any of them to be honest it doesn't really matter which one uh, but I'm just going to use this one and I will hide the original placeholder okay and now I can go and click on S to scale it up okay and then i can uh, just push it down a bit and see what happens so if i go back now to scene one there we go oh i think i pushed it down too much okay let's have a look yeah that sounds good so if i play it now that's how it's going to look like Okay, which is actually very good, which is very nice. Of course, I'm going to hide all of these just to make my project a bit neat and tidy. Okay. And then I'm going to close this one, media 01.1. .1. Okay, because I think I'm done with it. You can also change 
any of the text here so for example i want to say instead of 35 percent okay today i'm feeling a bit generous and i'm going to say 45 percent off okay okay so shy guy okay that feels like i'm talking about mario or something like that okay so let's do this so that's it for for the scene one so if i go and play this back let's see how it looks of course it's rendering at the same time so it's a bit laggy um, but depending on your pc specs it should be okay Okay, so this is good. So let's go to just quickly into the scene number two and we will see what's in there. Okay, so again, the same thing. There is a sub composition, uh, which is media02.1 and we can go in there. And again, there's a placeholder and I'm just gonna change that placeholder to let's say, for example, this one. You can delete it, the original placeholder, or you can just hide it so that it won't actually matter so for example let's have uh, this one and when i go back to my composition now you will see that that media has just been replaced okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to change some of the the texts over here Okay, and now I'm just going to have to make the messages all the same. What I'm going to do is make that as 45, the same as previous composition and job done. Again, you have the, the shy button here. So open it up and see what you want to change. You also have some of items connected as parent and link. And again, I'm not going to go into the detail of this parent and link or how to use it. It is in one of my other videos. So go and have a look at that. But if you want to change it, just make sure you don't mess up any of the original links or the original sub compositions in this composition. Okay, so this is it. Let's have a look at the final comp and see how it now looks like. Okay, we're just gonna give it a bit of time so that it renders enough and then I'm gonna play it again. Let's do this. Okay, so I think this is looking really nice. Um, you can also change um, the colors of, of these uh, this text or um, any of these animations, you can ch um, uh, change it. Just make sure that you go into the, the shy button and unhide anything that's hidden away so that you can um, see everything in this project. And once you're done with this, you can simply go to save and then you can either export it to media queue or to render queue so depending on how you want it again it is in one of my other videos i have explained in detail so have a look at my channel and if you're not sure you can leave a question in the comments and i will try to respond as quickly as i can so this is all for now again if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe like the video leave a comment and i will see you in the next one thank you bye